Folks, the caterpillars are out. They're attacking the veggie garden. They're getting into my cabbage. Have a look at that. Now that is here, literally overnight. Literally overnight, look at the damage on it already. Now, if you've got damage in your garden, get up close and have a look for these little green things. Look at the color. You could not pick it because it's so camouflaged. It matches what it eats. Green like a cabbage leaf. So get out there, hand pick them off and squash them. Get rid of them, feed them to the chooks. Cara, do you want to eat that? No, don't lick my fingers. You can smell the chicken in you. Go away. Come on, go away. <laughs> so get out there and protect your garden naturally. There are many products in the industry you can use. I prefer to make my own straight from the kitchen pantry. Get yourself a pen and paper. Now, one litre of water, one teaspoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of chilli, one teaspoon of garlic. Now, this is all chopped up and crushed. One teaspoon of turmeric and a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid. So chilli, garlic, oil, turmeric, and a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid in a litre of water. Put it on the pot, in the pot, on the stove, let it boil, let it cool down, strain, and then spray your garden. You can use lots of different chemicals from the industry there. There's some organic ones as well, but preferably anything you can eat, put it in your garden as well, as far as protecting your plants from insects and bugs and diseases like that. So chili, garlic, oil, soap, turmeric in water to control these, and then you can spray it onto your veggie garden and feel safe. You're gonna protect it really well. Otherwise, go around there at nighttime or early morning and squash them. If you can't find the caterpillar by looking around, look for caterpillar poo. Let me show you what this looks like. Here we are. We spotted it here. Have a look there. All right, see all that there? Now, see deep inside here? Look at it. There he is. There he is. Look. There we are. Where's he gone? He's fallen through. There. There we are. There's another one. Down inside of the heart of the actual cabbage itself, because the leaves are closed up like that, he looks like, or it looks like one of those leaves wrapped up, a new leaf about to come out of the ground or out of the, the, uh, the center of the cabbage plant. There's another one. That's the second one I found. You know, if there's one, there's many. I've actually found another solution to controlling the cabbage caterpillar uh, from attacking it. Now, you make, you've got to make sure you've actually picked them all out of your cabbage plants and any other plant they're attacking and then you can set up this beautiful grow tunnel. Now, this is a grow tunnel we use for two purposes. Now, it's about three meters or three and a half meters in length. Comes with four hoops like this. Beautiful little unit, nice and easy to install. But the benefit of this one here from all the others that I've seen around is that this actually has a insect net, not a bird net, an insect net. So it's a lot finer. It stops the small insects like butterflies and white flies and all the other types of insects that actually attack your plants. So that's a great unit and it's actually great in summertime too. So it does reduce the sunburn that's caused on the plants. Now this is what I'm going to use to protect my plants from the, the caterpillar because I've picked out all the caterpillars. I don't want to spray with any anything on these plants, even though it can be a, of an organic base. And then we simply just drape over the insect netting like that and we peg it down. Where are the pegs? They're in my pocket. One on either side, one on this side like that, and one on this side like that. And you can also peg the insect netting to the sides of these uprights. But you know what I like about this as well? Because it is winter, folks, it also comes with a polyurethane UV stabilized plastic clear plastic so you can drape this over your little seedlings if so if you've got little plants in there or even if you're planting an early spring crop rather than having the bird netting or the insect netting my apologies you can put the plastic UV stabilized material over the top of the, the tunnel and protect your plants and keep them nice and warm during winter which is right now so a great little unit and a great way to protect your plants from the heat the cold the insects and the animals yeah, that's you, Jack. Folks, this is a great unit for every home garden. Easy to install and very inexpensive and very easy to pack up too once you're finished with it. Go to our website, vasilisgarden.com to find out more about it and get one into your garden to protect your plants from insects, sun and the cold. From me, Vasily, Maresi.